Hi there, Drew Brents here, uh, Preapp 1003 and Broker Plus. And today I want to take a couple minutes and uh, talk to you and show you uh, our new uh, enhanced document manager. Uh, our system's had a document manager for years, but uh, we, we've enhanced it. So we want to show you those features today. So first of all, um, from the loan officer's viewpoint, you can um, right here when you log in, you have documents to review. We now tell you who the uh, borrower is and this notification will not go away until um, documents have been accepted. Okay, so if you have an LOA or a processor, uh, when the loan officer looks at this or they look at it or whoever looks at it, it'll stay, uh, the notice will stay there as a reminder until again, someone accepts the document. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna take me into the document manager of the loan profile. And then uh, those of you that are familiar with their system, you know that you could, you know, review the document here. You could edit your 1003 over here on the left-hand side and do what you need to do. Okay, so it's very convenient. Uh, also, if you want to manually upload documents, you could do that here. Um, and then we have the different document categories. And um, if the borrower uploads documents through their toolbox, then it will auto uh, file certain documents as well. Up here also to the top right, uh, this is going to show you what the system is asking them for. Our system will auto create a checklist based upon the application data when someone fills out an application. And so it'll show you what they've uploaded, what do they still need to upload, what's being asked for. And you know, you or the, uh, the LO, LOA or processor can add additional um, uh, fields as well. You can update the doc request and send them an email when you do that. Now, when someone uploads documents, you are going to see um, uh, pending, okay? Uh, so this would be little, we get a little notice, files not have been accepted or rejected. So you can accept the file or reject the file. And then also tells you which ones have been accepted and rejected. So, um, you know, just as a quick little overview, we're gonna, we're gonna accept this one. Okay, boom, really easy, all right? Let's say I made a mistake. Oh, I shouldn't have accepted it. So I'm gonna go to my edit. I'm going to uh, move this back to reset it as pending, okay? Now, let's say I wanna reject the file, okay? So really I needed to reject it. So I'm gonna reject it. I'm gonna give a type, a reason. So I'm gonna say, you know, uh, image lot not legible, okay? Um, um, can't read doc, okay? Or whatever you wanna say, you can put in a, you know, whatever the reject reason is. Okay, so that one's been rejected. Now, a couple other things I wanna point out, and then we are gonna look at the borrower toolbox, the borrower's perspective as well. So, over here you can, uh, you can email a notification to the borrowers. Um, so you can, you know, modify the context. It will call them by their first name, okay? And then, you can modify this or just, you know, not, you can leave it as is, tells them what's going on there for the reasons and you can send the email, okay? Also, you could set up doc alerts. So this is new. So um, you can click on this and this is where you could set up uh, a drip reminder up to seven days until either the checklist has been satisfied or the borrower turns it off. Okay, so, you know, this is it. You can modify the email that goes out every day and here's the checklist of items for both borrowers. So you can set the doc alert. So when I click this, okay, now um, you next time you go in, you can view doc alert. So this is gonna tell you, okay, wh uh, which ones have been sent, okay? And uh, so for instance, here's the seven reminders, okay, that's gonna go out. This is gonna tell you if it's been sent and it'll also tell you uh, when they open it or if they've opened the email. So you're going to be able to track that, you know, that they are seeing these. Okay. Now let's look at the bar, the borrower's perspective. All right. So here's the borrower's toolbox. So, um, and I have a whole video on, you know, what the functions of the toolbox are. I do encourage you to include a video in that if you, if you haven't already. So right here, we got supporting docs. So we're going to click on that. And this is going to show you, um, or excuse me, show the borrower, Here's the checklist. It's going to tell them what things they've uploaded. What do they still need to upload? Okay, uh, they're sixty percent complete, and you know, obviously, they could you know upload documents. You know, they could do a batch upload. But this is the new feature down here. We're just going to show them, you know, what files have been rejected, and here's the um, you know it says missing data is the category, and so I put, I typed in there need complete bank statement missing page six. Here's the other one um, that we just did. So this one's also rejected. Okay, can't read doc. Was, and that's what I just typed in. 
Now, the other ones, uh, these have been accepted, okay? And then this one here is still pending review, okay? So, um, uh, so it's letting the borrower know what has been rejected, accepted, or pending review. So, you know, uh, loan officers, LOAs, processors, if they're uploading things and you're not uh, jumping on it, they know. They know that, uh, that you know, if, if you haven't accepted it yet. So, um, anyway, but that's, uh, those are the new features of the document, um, the Enhanced Document Manager. Uh, we're really excited about this, uh, this upgrade. And so, um, I believe you will, uh, you will benefit and enjoy it as well. So, anyway, as, as always, thank you for using Broker Plus and Preempt 1003.